The Opie and Anthony Show is back on Sirius XM. Best news ever. Well, this could be awkward. Not at all. We got a legend on the phone line. Yes. Mr. Scott Shannon. Scott. I think this proves that I'm an effing idiot. <laughs> I'm an effing idiot. Not well, at all. Let me just read this to you. All right. All right go ahead, Scott. Hello, we were wondering if Scott would be available for a phone interview with Opie and Anthony to promote your debut on your new station. Mm -hmm. Right. It would be a total serious interview and not an attack or anything <laughs> negative. Who the hell would write that? Wow. Nagel wrote. Uh, Nagel. You think I'm an effing idiot? <laughs> <laughs> oh, they've been a supporter of Scott's and respect what <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing. <laughs> what are you crazy? I, hear, I, got, I used to listen to you guys all the time when you had the old show. Remember you made a star out of Jay Moore? Yeah, yes, of course. Yes, yes we did. I listen to going home every single day. Oh, no. Wow, why weren't you this funny in the Scott and Todd show? <laughs> this is hilarious. I've always been a fan, and then, and then we're just cruising along doing our cheesy little radio show, and then comes that effing Rocktober, I'm sorry, Jocktober. <laughs> it's October, right? Oh, no. We've got to have five people on, on, on the website trying to get all, this, all your friends. All these guys have got nothing better to do than sit in their little trailer masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Scott and Todd, homosexuals. Yes, <laughs> All <laughs> right. And what is it in the country? We're just trying to do, you know, a little radio. Show. Of course. Of course. But you know, yeah. you know how it is. You you, <laughs> you get bored after a while. Best we could possibly do it. Here comes, here comes uh, Zamboni Boy from Dubuque, Iowa. <laughs> <laughs> you, you homo. <laughs> you homo. <laughs> you, you a homo radio show. <laughs> what a bunch of assholes. What the hell, Scott? Oh. But what happened to you with Scott and Todd? You're hilarious. <laughs> I finally, it just finally ran out. That was all. It was time to do something different. Yeah, time to move on. As you guys, as you guys have been so polite to point out, it, it, and I'm not a kid anymore. <laughs> <laughs> What's gonna happen to us too? Come on, we're not we're yeah. not that far behind you. <laughs> we're not that far behind. Right. I ran into some I ran into a lady at the A and P store in Westchester where I live and she stopped and she's staring at me. I said, What's wrong? She says, Well, you don't look eighty. <laughs> I said, what do you mean? She says, Well, I listen to all the fucking answers. She was like eighty years old. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nice. God, no. man. Uh. So despite your efforts to destroy my life, I guess. <laughs> well, you, I, you sure got rebounded pretty quick on getting a gig. Well, you know, I did the, uh, they were going to do like a full week of, uh, you know, the crap where you play back the stuff. Oh, that God. Know, right. So I just walk, I walked in on a Thursday and said, you know, tomorrow is the day. That's it. I'm getting out of here. Yeah. You take over. You put your new show together and do it. And, uh, I, plus, you know, you know what the weather's been like here. So I said, I'm getting out of here. I went to Florida for a couple of weeks and just kind of hung out on the golf course and, and just get, you know, I'm just relaxed and uh, figure yeah. out what I wanted to do. Yeah, no one leaves radio like that. You, either, you usually just get fired. Well, you hear that, you hear that all the time. You, you know, it's, it's kind of weird because you know, they say the, once you do, uh, once you retire, there's only one more major event left in your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. So as long as you keep working, you can maybe you can push that one off for a little while. And I'm like, you guys, I don't have any other skills. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, you're, we barely have this one, Scott. Right. Wait a minute, was Anthony used to put in air conditioning? Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, got a, I played golf with this doctor, and he, he, used to, he used to work on my office, and he, and he was so proud. That was his plain to say. <laughs> yeah, I probably worked on everybody's office, I don't know, Long I, Island. He, I, said he, he said he was always funny, even when he was putting in the vents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I would, I'd crack him up in the attics. <laughs> I got to tell you, I think we just uh, turned into Team Scott. Big time. Uh, we're on Team Scott. Like, big I, time. I, I, yeah, I don't mind, you know. Monday, uh, you start your show Monday? Yeah, I'm on Monday. I called, I called Peter Chris 
you know, a guy from Kiss, I said, why don't you come on my show? Let's talk a little bit. <laughs> he said, it's ni- I live 90 miles from New York. I'm not driving in. <laughs> Nobody asked you that to drive in. There's a phone I can talk to you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> And we got some other people checking in, so it'll be, you know. Scott, I got to tell you, my pal, Brother Weeze, made me feel really guilty. I guess I go, we're talking, talking at this convention, one of those stupid radio conventions. <laughs> yeah. And Weeze is up there, and he takes the whole thing over. Oh, for God's sakes. Yeah. I, I think you about half cleared the room out. Women were leaving, and old men. <laughs> Killed the room. <laughs> right. Talking about, you know, they want to be this, you know, the story, because I think he's only got about five. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, the story about he took the Viagra and his bone was up in the air and all that. Oh, I got pictures yeah. if you want me to send it to you. Um, I got actual got pictures him. of uh, Weeze with a, a solid boner. Very impressive. He probably has him already because he's a homo, remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Scott's got him already. <laughs> I got an ID card, homo from s <laughs> Homo. But Weeze goes... We was talking about being friends with you. I said, which one of those sons of bitches hate me? <laughs> <laughs> I said, what if, I'm not a bad guy. I don't, oh, man. <laughs> I, haven't went, I haven't killed any puppies. <laughs> You know? He's a nice enough guy. I, I think Brother Weeze questions his friendship with me all the time. He's always sitting me down and trying to tell me, man, why, why Scott Shannon? I'm like, I don't know. We were bored, Weeze. What, no, what do you want from us? You know what he says to me? He says, I'll take care of that. I said, no, you're not. That'll just make it worse. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, that one made me feel bad. But you know what? If we don't know the person, you know this deal. It's a lot easier to do. But. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's always easy. You know, that's, I, I always said before, when, when, uh, when I first got into New York, and I had the morning zoo, and oh, man, this is the coolest radio I've ever heard. This is, you know, this is great. What is it? And then, and then Stern came along. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, you know, I was a dipshit. You know, <laughs> after that, and, and, and it, it's kind of funny. I, somebody said, why don't you do, I can't do that. I just, that's not me. I can't yeah, do right. that kind of radio. I'm not willing to pay the price you guys are willing to pay. <laughs> well, Scott, uh, we got a few shots in for you, trust me, <laughs> over the years <laughs> with that guy. We got uh, some nice shots in. Yeah. I don't know how you know. Aren't you in the same building? Yeah, it, yeah. it makes it extremely well. But he's like, he's... Just, we don't, no one even sees the no guy. No one sees him. He's like, like that, a, That's how weird that dude is. He doesn't, he doesn't even walk around. He's a strange bird. I'm not saying anything because I don't need one more show. <laughs> I just do a different kind of radio, and obviously, yeah. you know. But I, I certainly enjoy the kind of humor you guys have. And, you know, you always crack me up, and, and, and I love the, you know, the the. the Sound effects and the, the way you bang on people is funny. It's always funny towards you, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, so yeah. I don't find it, then I don't find it. So <laughs> no, no, not not quite no, as amusing, but, right? Uh, <laughs> God yeah, damn, I'll Scott! Come there, I'll come over there one day and hang out with you. I don't care. That'd be fun. No, that we would, yeah. we would love that. You're a legend. Definitely. We all know that. It was just not the type of radio I I went into because I never had the voice. So I had to do something. I don't, a, I don't have a voice. You know, here's the problem. I'm a high school dropout. I never even had an air conditioning job or whatever that's <laughs> what she did. And, and, and all I ever wanted to be was a stupid disc jockey. Right? Yeah, yeah. And that, that's that's quite a that's quite an ambition. Oh, isn't it? What do you want to be? Who do do do? I guess it worked out though. So it worked out all right. I, yeah. I don't have a deep voice and I don't have a deep vocabulary. So this is what I do. <laughs> so I'll do it till I die. I think uh, I I personally think there's bad blood between you and uh, Todd. Are you going to ever talk about it on your new show? Probably not. I did. It's not my. You know, it's not my. There's really no bad blood. He just. You know, he wants. He wants to have his own show. He wants to be. You know, he wants to run the, the show. Right. And uh, it was. You know, it's kind of. It's kind of tough when there's somebody else around and and you and you do one of your scams and somebody says, "Hey, I really like your scam, Scott." You wow. Know? Oh, and, really? and, and you're like, uh, yeah, that's not mine. And, and, I'm sure you guys get that all the time. You're the one that does all the impressions. Yeah, you know, but, on, <laughs> but I, you, you didn't really like those phone scams, did you? I laughed at I laughed at some of them. <laughs> what is that? Some of them. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed. I mean, he's a funny dude, you know. <laughs> I laughed at some of them. 
What what would be the percentage though? Like maybe let's be honest, like ten, fifteen percent. Wait a minute, hold on. I want to read my note again. <laughs> it would be a serious interview, not an attack or anything negative. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you could tell Zamboni boy out in the Yes. No. Don't, don't send the homo picture today. But, can, you, can you just say I got a tree on my house, please? Oh, Are you ready? Yeah. I got a tree on my house. Oh, oh see, now he's, got, now he's got yeah, that. I got, I got a, tree a tree on my house, house motherfucker. I want to see the boat moving. <laughs> I got a tree on my yeah. house. People, uh, here's, here's what happens. See, at times, as you get a little older, you have you have memory drop out. Oh, so that's, that's exactly what happens. I'm, I'm better on some days than I am on others. Right. <laughs> did, did the whole I got a tree on my house thing get back to you from us? Oh, he, he, he blew up pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what, though? You know, here's the great part. If I find it funny, it's, it's, you know, it doesn't bother you as much. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. And people calling and doing impressions of the idiot on the Scott and Todd. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, I got, uh, you just turned us around. Oh, like you, audience, you have no idea. The whole man. audience, I'm reading here, they're loving it, man. I tell you what, though. I gotta tell you what. Somebody sent me some of the pictures. Oh boy! From the uh, from the new show, right? <laughs> uh, the, the guy driving down the road with a gun to his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Do me a favor. Don't even mention my show. On <laughs> <laughs> just, let me, just let me die. All right? <laughs> That's the best thing we could do is not don't talk about it. Don't tell them what happened. Station <laughs> in the city. Tell them I moved to Miami. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on Magic 102. That's a personal favor. We'll do that. That's Scott. All I'm asking. Oh my God. Scott Shine just killed for 15 minutes on I our show. I love it. Holy. Love it. I'll come, by, I'll come by and do the show with you guys one day. Yeah, we would love that. That'd be a blast, man. Uh, Scott. Is, is Jay Moore still come on, or is he? Uh, he's, uh, yeah, he hasn't been around. He just wrote me the other day. He'll be on in a couple weeks, I Yeah, think. we'll yeah. have him on in a couple yeah. weeks. Be too big a star to hang out with you guys. <laughs> it's becoming <laughs> huge. Is, bastard. Huge. Well, I'm certainly not. I'll be there. Let me know. All right. So hey, the, I, new, the new show starts yeah. uh, up in New York on on CBS don't, FM. Don't, don't, I don't, want, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. I'm retired. I'm in Florida. I'm playing golf. <laughs> See you guys. All right, Best Scott. Of luck, Scott, Scott, Scott. Thanks, man. Bye, All right. Love you. Miss you, brother. <laughs> that is a fucking... That's well, a real dude right there. We are there. Team Scott Shannon. I don't even want audio clips. I don't give no. a fuck what he does on his new show. It, that's it. We just make it hurt that much more. Because he obviously Scott. he obviously was holding was being held back by Todd. Obviously, the fuck it, that's the same guy. I know. Well, what he didn't say spoke volumes when you asked him about Todd. Right. He goes, "Well, I, I don't want to really say anything." Yeah, He's not yeah. denying that they didn't get along. I like how the phone scams. I laughed at some of them. <laughs> he just killed it. Yeah, oh, that's great. That's not the guy that was doing the show with Todd. No, no. Todd not... was holding him back. Absolutely. I hope he brings some of that to his new show. A little more honesty and just let, yeah. it, let it fly, man. He's an yep. older guy. Just let it go. Uh, damn, that was good. That's <laughs> him letting it go without worrying about program directors mm, yep. or, or the format or anything else. Good for him. He just killed for 15 minutes. This is the greatest day of my career. He's a, oh, oh, E-Rock. Uh, E-Rock. Oh, okay, Anthony and Scott Shannon. Oh, United. Because you worked with Scott for a little while, right? <laughs> for a little bit, yeah. Yeah. That let, goddamn he goes, Nagel. He goes, let me read my note. My note from <laughs> Nagel. <laughs> Nagel. He actually, <laughs> I I from the gym voice that Jim has done a hundred times, he actually said, that Nagel kid. That Nagel kid. I forgot he never called me by my first name. Oh. What did he call you? That. He was like, Nagel. 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 Or Nagel. <laughs> Nagel. <laughs> or Noogie. <laughs> Sex Nagel. The Sex I swear to you, I don't want one clip. I don't care. No. Okay. Got best I don't of luck care. to him. Best of luck to him. I hope, though, he brings what he just did for oh, us yeah. to his show. Yeah. On that is unfiltered. Why not? Yeah. yeah. It's hilarious, man. That was, was funny. hilarious. <laughs> his timing was right there. Oh, it was yeah. great. <laughs> Wait, an hour here. I like that. Wait, let me read my note again. <laughs> right <now. laughs> And it turns out he used to listen to us oh, and he on heard, his way home every afternoon. At he the, heard the tree on my house been a few times. <laughs> I go, does that get 
Get, get what, back to get you. Back. He goes, oh, what did he say? He said, yeah, it blew up. <laughs> oh, yeah, it blew up. Uh, that was, uh, that's great. He, yeah, he does that. He's going to be just fine. I swear guys could turn us. I'm telling you. Yeah. I have nothing bad to say about that guy now. That Team, was hilarious. Team Scott. And, and he had the balls to call, not yes. knowing if we were going to just, you know, be a complete dick. Exactly. I also thought it was interesting. That he said you got to have four people on the websites. Oh my god! Because he had to try to deal with people, everything. trying to deal with all the, the influx of shit that was going on. No, m imagine that when he said he had four or five people running the websites during Jocktober. Yeah. Okay. That hashtag, the Todd Show, has oh. been going five days strong. That's five more than days. anything we've done in Jocktober. How many people they have over there trying to squash oh. this? Hey, if you um. Ah, it's gonna sound a little weird, but fuck it. If you guys enjoyed what just happened, yeah, the hashtag is the Todd Show. Right, but right Team Scott. Right, oh, I want to yeah. fucking team Scott. flood that team hashtag. Scott. I mean, we could just double write the hashtag. Team Scott. Yeah. Hashtag the Todd Show. Hashtag Team Scott. Right. Yeah. Just make. The, yeah. Put that as a hashtag as your. Because uh, how great would it be if the if the Todd Show started trending, but right under it, Team Scott was trending. Right. <laughs> team Scott. I don't care now. I don't. I, I have no. no desire to like you know find bad audio of that guy. Nope. Yeah, None. I, I got emails earlier when, like I was saying, um, that people over at CBS were thoroughly enjoying our talk right. show coverage. Well. Then he call. He has the balls to call, and then he fucking delivers and hits a fucking home run. And uh, now on our phone, let's say hi to Terry Clifford. Is on our phone lines right now. No, what? Oh, she could turn me in minutes. Do you think? <laughs> yes. Do you think Todd could turn you? No. Probably not. What if huh? he broadcasts here? Because oh, no. he's such no, a. You know, he hate half the place he just already. Cuts <laughs> off as a douche. Yeah. I don't know. No. No. Not really. Because that was the second turn you guys took oh, just yeah. this week. Oh, Isaac. Boom. Boom. Isaac. Yeah, Isaac turned you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Mandela. I mean Ted Land. <laughs> when fucking Colin pulled that one out. <laughs> wow. What a way to end a week. That's great. Good for Scott. Good for uh, Scott. Uh, I mean, uh, Monday, uh, uh, wish him the best. Yeah, on the golf course, because yeah, he doesn't want us to course. mention his new show.